Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video we are going to do a full face of my most recently purchased makeup products for each category. So you know some YouTubers do videos with like a full face of new makeup releases and I thought it would be interesting to go through my collection and see when I most recently purchased a product for each category. And yeah, so I will sort of represent maybe not like a normal consumer but at least yeah not a youtuber <laughs> uh, i still buy a lot of makeup so yeah uh, i'm also going to include some like quick reviews of the things that i have and i will tell you when i purchase it and if i can't remember i will have it listed on the screen and I also thought I wanted to show you I have like a spreadsheet on like a Google spreadsheet where I keep all of my purchased items so I put a list of like January February and then I list everything and how much it was uh, from pocket when I bought it so that's why I have sort of pretty good tabs on when I purchased all of these products since I started doing that uh, in January of 2017. So yeah, let's just get into it. The first product I am going to apply is this Ilamasca Hydra Veil and this I actually got second hand on Facebook so this was not new when I purchased it because I think these retail for like $40 or something like that which is pretty expensive but I got it for like 15 so you open it up and it has like a tiny little spoon and then you open this up and it's like a jelly so every time I like use it it sort of gets back to its original shape so I just take my little spoon and then mm -hmm. I take out like a pea size amount that was probably too much I'm going to put a bit of it on my hand and yeah, I'm going to spread that all over my face. And I actually haven't used this much since I'm oily, but when I saw it, I knew I just had to get it just because the price was so good. And I've been really curious about this one. And it feels really hydrating, even though it's like a jelly. It's very, yeah, you saw it's very like bouncy. <laughs> But yeah, I've only used this twice, I think. And I got this in January, so I don't know why I haven't used it, but I need to get the move on. I think I will use it more during the winter, hopefully, when I'm not as oily. Okay, and then move, let's move on to foundation. So the one I'm going to use is the Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 Foundation and Concealer in OO Light Natural. And this one I purchased in March of 2017. And so it's been a while since I purchased a foundation that I'm actually using. But I have purchased two foundations like after I purchased this one. So the most recent one is the Too Faced Peach Perfect Comfort Matte Foundation. And I have decluttered this because every time I use it or like squirt it on my hand, it sort of has bits of like not bits but sort of it's separated in the tube so it comes out as like one oil face and then one sort of foundation face and when I first got it I really liked it and then when I kept using it I started not liking it because it broke up on me like super quickly so I think this might have been like a bad bottle uh, or like this tube is bad so I'm going to like I have decluttered this before I sort of really form an opinion on it and that proved to be wrong just because I have a bad bottle. So this is the clutter and I got this one in March of this year. And then I also purchased the Fenty Beauty foundation like the Pro Filter Soft Matte Longwear foundation in the shade 120. And this I got in November I believe. I got it on the release, release date all over the world. Mm. But this oxidizes on me, so it looks like, when I first put it on, it looks like it's going to match me pretty well. But then a few hours later, it's way too orange and way too dark, so I'm going to declutter this one as well. So <laughs> the one, like, after that, or before that, that I purchased is the Milani Conceal and Perfect Foundation. Okay, and then for concealer, I am going to use the Tarte Shape Tape. So this is in the shade Fair. And this I purchased in uh, January. 
on their website and I've been using it quite a bit since then. I did not use it like right after I got it. I think I started using it a lot more in like March or so and I've been enjoying it and I would consider like buying it again but I think I will try out the Too Faced concealer that just came out uh, because that one I can get in stores like really close to me and this one I have to order from the States and, they pay, and then pay like tax and customs and stuff so yeah I think I will try the Too Faced one out next time but there is a ton of product in here there's like 10 milliliters so this will probably last me like a shorter lifetime and then for under eye setting powder the most recent purchase in my collection is this makeup revolution revolution ghost finishing powder and uh, this one i got in march but what i have done is that i have used this one to mix with some of my other loose powders that are too dark for me so I currently have this in a Bare Minerals Mineral Veil container, but in here I actually have the Ghost Finishing Powder and I have a powder from um, Makeup Store, which is a Swedish brand. So I'm just going to use this mixture to set under my eyes. And then for the rest of my face, I'm going to take a big kabuki brush and I am going to use the Essence All About Matte Fixing Powder and this I also purchased in March. And I forgot to mention, I really really enjoy the uh, uh, Makeup Revolution Ghost Finishing Powder. Like in the winter, I can totally use this to set my under eyes alone. Uh, but I, I, I have really been enjoying mixing it with other powders that are too dark for me. So I would totally like recommend that and repurchase that. But then I'm going to go in with this essence powder and this was from the same haul and I haven't used this uh, as much. So I'm not sure <laughs> what I think about it, but yeah, I'm going to use it today. So now that we have that all over my face, I am going to go in with bronzer and my most recently purchased bronzer in my collection is the Becca bronzer in Bolai Sands. And here is what that one looks like and I got this one in May. So I have used it uh, a bit but the thing with this one is that it's a very like subtle bronzer. I don't know if you can tell on camera but it's a really subtle bronzer and so I haven't been using it much this summer just because I've been using some of my like darker bronzers just so I get some use out of those and I know I will be able to use this one a lot more in the winter so but I have used it like 10 times or so maybe and I do really enjoy it I'm just looking forward to the winter when I can use this one more and then for blush, I am going to go in with the Nabla blush in the shade Habana. And this is like a very peachy, curly shade. Very peachy, so I'm going to grab that on a brush and put that on my cheeks. And I really do enjoy the color of this one. And I got this one in, was it July? End of July? I think it was end of July or early August. No, it was the end of July or it was early August. I'm going to have it here when I bought it but um, they had like a sale on their website and if you know I've talked about it before that I in March I got the one of these brushes in the shade Harper so and I've been really enjoying that one so now I got the shade Habana and I also got the shade Nectarine but yeah just putting that on my cheeks and then for highlighter you might be surprised about this one because I've talked about this one quite a bit on my channel uh, recently and this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills uh, Amrisi, like collab with Amrisi highlighter and this one is actually in one of my products, so projects, so this is in my roulette pan collab uh, or like round three of our roulette product pan and like my name, Rebecca, sorry <laughs> I'm just babbling, but yeah, I have this in a product and that might be surprising since it's my newest uh, like highlighter in my collection but this one looks really stunning in the summer months and not uh, as much in the colder months and this one I purchased in I think it was in March I will have that listed here as well but this one looks really stunning on me when I have a tiny bit of a tan so that's why I'm sort of 
using it all the time right now and I really love it like it's stunning so if I had not put it in the project I would have used it all the time anyways but yeah I really really love this highlighter and sadly you can't get it anymore but yeah it's it's stunning okay so base is done and I can tell you that using the uh, Illa Masca Hydro Well together with the Milani Conceal and Perfect does sort of emphasize my pores a bit right here so keep in mind that if you use this you might want to use like a pore filling primer or something that is more like smoothing uh, I feel like this uh, looks better when I use my Kix like matte primer that I also have in my Roulette Pan Collab so I think you want to use something that is a tiny bit smoothing. But yeah, those, that was my face. So let's move on to my eyes. And I'm going to start with my brows. And for my brows, I'm going to use the Sueva Graphic Brows in the shade Sinners. And I think I got this one in uh, May or June. And I'm just going to grab this spoolie side. And I also have here the... Um, Anastasia Beverly Hills Deep Brow and this I purchased this quite a while ago but I didn't start using it until like a month ago or so so I have this one because I'm really nervous to use this like brow pencil so if I don't like the result I'm going to go in with this one but I'm just brushing my hairs where I want them or like upwards and outwards and then this is one of those like really skinny brow pencils so I really enjoy like a bowl brow, so I think this will probably be too natural for my taste. <laughs> so yeah, if I feel like it, I will go in with the deep brow as well. I'm trying to do like short sort of hair like strokes, especially here at the tail where I don't have as much hair. I'm then sort of brushing it out. I think that looks I mean it's a lot more bushy sort of than I'm used to and I do like to have like a line here where I have my arch so that yeah it looks a bit more bold okay so I think I can live with this so we're going to only stick to this uh, pen and not use the deep brow I'm not sure which is my most recently like acquired brow gel because most of the ones I have are from like subscription boxes so I'm just going to use the one I am currently using and I am using the L'Oreal Brow Artist Plumper and I feel like this one is nothing special at all so because it's not cruelty free I'm just going to use this one and use it up and then get it out of my collection. I feel like they look a bit more bushy than they usually do but yeah we will roll with that today okay and then let's move on to the eyes and the newest sort of primer product i have in my collection is the nabla cream shadow in morning glory and this one is just like a skin toned um cream eyeshadow and i'm going to swatch this one I don't think I've done that in a video before, but here is a swatch of Morning Glory. I'm going to swatch that next to Painterly by MAC because I feel like they are pretty similar in tone. So you could probably use whichever you want. So this is Morning Glory and this is Painterly. They are pretty similar in texture as well, but uh, MAC Painterly is a bit thinner than Morning Glory. And I feel like shadows blend a tiny bit better on top of uh, Painterly than they do on top of Morning Glory. So keep that in mind. But I do feel like you could use uh, Morning Glory as a cruelty free and vegan alternative to Painterly. And to make shadows easier to blend on top, I'm just going to use some of the powder that I used on my under eye. And sort of set that down. And then I'm just going to take the brush I used before for my under eyes and I'm going to load that up with a bit of powder and sort of put that underneath because I'm scared I will uh, have some fallout from my shadows because I always do my eyeshadow first. But for some reason today we did the base first so I'm just sort of loading up with powder underneath my eyes. And then my most recently acquired eyeshadows are the... Uh, Morphe and Jaclyn Hill vault collection so I have all four of them but I 
decided to mainly use Ring the Alarm and Dark Magic because I haven't used those much. And I'm going to use like the highlighting shade from the Armed and Gorgeous palette. And yeah, as I said, I haven't used this much, so we are going to see what I feel about these two palettes. And I also wanted to like give my quick thoughts on these um, from not using them much. My one uh, of the things that I have noticed while like playing around with them and swatching and wearing some of those is that the shimmers seem to be very nice quality and like they are very creamy and most often I can use them without using like a, a tacky like glitter glue or tacky primer underneath or like setting spray. They go on really pretty on their own, at least the ones in Armed and Gorgeous. And I also feel like they are all very fall appropriate. So I wish that two palettes were more like fall appropriate and two palettes more like summer, spring time appropriate because I feel like that will make the collection a tiny bit better because I would have liked to seen like a bit more lighter shades that are like more bright and like summer, like maybe a matte coral or something that would like spice it up and make it more summer appropriate because I feel like all of them are pretty much like fall colors. But yeah, I'm going to start by going into the Ring the Alarm palette and if you haven't seen the inside this is what it looks like and I'm going to start by taking Rush and going into my crease. And then I am going to go in with Mugshot, which is just a tiny bit darker than Rush. Put that into my crease. I am then going to switch to a smaller down brush and I'm going to go into Alert, which is very similar to Mugshot, just a bit warmer. So I feel like you definitely did not need Rush, Mugshot and Alert in the same palette, but I'm just going to use them all since they are here. <laughs> and I'm putting that into my crease as well. And then I'm going to go into Secret, which is this one, and put that on my outer corner. And there is like a pretty funny, <laughs> like, um, conspiracy theory out there on the shade Mugshot because if you don't know uh, Jacqueline Hill has been arrested and there is like she has a Mugshot that you can like see if you google her name and like Mugshot, mugshot after it and so there is like a conspiracy theory that she named this shade Mugshot so that when you google Jacqueline Hill Mugshot this uh, shadow will come up instead of her real mugshot <laughs> but yeah I think that's pretty funny this one is not as pigmented as the other so I sort of have to pack it on a bit more I'm going to switch brush I'm switching to a more flat brush from Sueva and this seemed to work a lot better so I'm just packing that on on my outer corner so my battery on my camera died, so I put the shimmer shades I'm going to use on this eye. So now on camera I'm going to put them on this eye. So I'm going into the uh, Dark Magic palette and I'm taking this shade right here called Power Cut. And I'm putting that on my inner half of my eyelid. And this is without any like tacky primer underneath or any setting spray and I'm sort of creating like a soft soft cut crease but as you can see it's very like pigmented and metallic even without any help at all just applied on dry like shadow or primer <clears throat> and then I'm going to take the shade diversion with the same shade and, or same my brush and I'm just going to use that to put that sort of on the center of the eyelid and then I'm going into ring the alarm again and taking boom and putting that sort of on the outer yeah like the third three quarters like 
if this is one quarter of the eye and this is half and then I'm putting on like three quarters of the way <laughs> and then blending that in with diversion so I'm going to go back and forth between all of the three shades to sort of blend them and get them as prominent as I want and then I'm taking just a fluffy brush and sort of softly blending the transition I'm just going to put take my finger and put a tiny bit of diversion on the eyelid and then take the brush again with power cut Okay, so now that they are pretty similar, I'm going to go in with a small pencil brush and I'm going to take Mojo from the Dark Magic palette and just put that a tiny bit on the outer corner right here, like along the lower lash line, or not lower lash line, along the upper lash line. Okay, so now let's just dust off the extra powder I have underneath my eyes and then I'm going to take the pointed Sueva brush that I used before and I'm going to go into the shades we used in the crease and I'm just going to mix rush and mugshot and then I'm going to go into the pencil brush again and I'm going to take secret and put that more on the outer corner the lower lash line and sort of blend as I go and then for the inner corner I'm going to go into Armed and Gorgeous and take the shade VIP with a small brush and just put that on my inner corner and then just a tiny bit underneath my brow bone or on my brow bone underneath my brow and sort of blend that out with my finger That's intense. <laughs> Whoops. And then I'm just going to go in with a big fluffy brush. This is from Morphe and it's the R37 and just sort of blend the edges a bit. And now I'm just going to apply some mascara and some lashes and then I will be back for lipstick and sort of a wrap up of what I thought on everything I used in today's video. Okay, so the glue has not fully dried yet but we are just going to move on to lipstick. So the most recent lipstick in my collection are these uh, NYX plush gel lipsticks and I got a set of three and I have another one but that's in my like they were all in my uh, box of lipsticks which I use for my lipstick roulette and I could find these two pretty easily but I couldn't find the third one so I'm just showing you these ones but I got these in July I believe and yeah I'm going to use the one which is called Nude Beach and it's just like a nude and I'm just gonna apply it <laughs> And these have a very gel-like formula, like the name, like, sort of applies. And they are very, very comfortable on the lips and really moisturizing, so I do really like these. I'm just sad that they don't make these anymore, I believe. I think they are discontinued, or at least in Sweden. So I could only get, like, a set of three of them for, like, a discounted price. But yeah, I really enjoy them. So that was my full face using my newest products in my collection, and... I forgot to mention the lashes I'm wearing are the House of Lashes Boudoir Mini lashes, I believe. And yeah, so uh, let's go through what I used. I gave you some of my opinions on like the primer and the uh, foundation in the beginning, but I feel like it looks a tiny bit heavy. Like I would have to sort of pat out the crease here in my forehead a bit because it sort of collects in that crease but I don't have any creasing like around my face <laughs> like the other parts of my face but I do enjoy that foundation and I have been using it quite a lot my under eyes are looking like they normally do because that combo is what I normally use and like the so like the uh, concealer works fine I do feel like you can see a tiny bit of darkness underneath my eyes today but that's Probably just because they are extra bad today, I don't know. <laughs> and I will continue using this powder. This might be why my face is looking a bit 
uh, like heavy uh, but I'm not sure I do feel like this one is pretty heavy but it might be even worse when you use this on top so maybe you shouldn't use these two together I do really like the bronzer I like the blush a lot I really like the color on me I love the highlighter as always I've been using that a ton this summer and then the brow pencil that I use the Sueva brow pencil in Sinners I do feel like my brows look pretty good except that I feel like the uh, color is a tiny bit too cool tone for me like I have a very warm like color in my hair so I feel like they look a tiny bit too cool tone but if you have been looking for a very cool tone eye pencil I really do or eyebrow pencil I really do recommend that one and yeah, I did really like the eyeshadow as well. I feel like the uh, Ring the Alarm, which is the one that I used in my crease, like the very warm one. I feel like this blends a lot better than at least Bling Boss, which is the purple one. But sort of more than the uh, Arm and Gorgeous one as well. But I do feel like the shimmers in this one are super pretty and I used this shimmer today which i really enjoyed and then from the dark magic palette uh, as i showed you before i used this one and this one and i do feel like they and i also do used mojo but i do feel like they performed really well as well so i'm very happy with these uh, so far the only thing i feel like i don't can't remember if i mentioned this before yeah i think i mentioned it before quite a bit <laughs> but as i said before i would have preferred if there were some more like summery shades in this palette because they would have been more versatile in my opinion but yeah that was everything for this video today give this a thumbs up if you liked it and if you think that i should do more of these and i would love to know like which categories you buy a lot of like makeup products in like you these I purchased in August when they released and like the lipsticks I do tend to buy lipsticks and eyeshadows a lot more often than I buy for example foundation which uh, like the current uh, newest in my collection after declaring the other two is from like one and a half year ago so yeah I think that's it let me know uh, which categories you buy more often from and like which is your newest product in all of the categories and I would love to see like anyone else do this as well so if you feel like doing this please do and sort of let me know that you did down in the comments so yeah thank you so much for watching as I said give this a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in my next one bye